welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's problem of the week asks you to prove these two facts about binomial coefficients. It asks you to prove the symmetry, the symmetry property, which is that n over r is equal to n over n minus r, and then also the additivity property, which is here that n over r Yes, n over r plus n over r plus 1 equals n plus 1 over r plus 1. Um, I'm just saying over as a way to simplify speaking about binomial coefficients here. So to begin, we'll try to prove the first, the symmetry property. Okay, so we know that by definition, n over r is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. Okay, so that is going to be the left-hand side of this equality here. So now we're going to try to look at the right-hand side and see if we can manipulate it to get it to equal over here the left-hand side. Okay, so we also know, we have here on the right-hand side, excuse me, that n over n minus r. Okay, and so basing this off of this formula up here, we, we know that n over n minus r is going to be equal to n factorial over, and then on, in the denominator here, or in the bottom here, excuse me, we have n minus r quantity factorial times uh, n minus quantity n minus r factorial. Just as above here we have n minus r, this is just n minus quantity n minus r. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify this here. So now we have n factorial in the numerator stays the same. And in the denominator we'll just leave n minus r factorial. And then n minus n, I'll just distribute out the negative sign here. So we have n minus n plus r, all factorial. And we know here that this is equal to n factorial. Numerator stays the same. And then we have in the denominator n minus r factorial. And then here n minus n, these cancel out. And we're just left with here r factorial, which as you can see, n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial is exactly equal to what we had over here on the left-hand side. Therefore, we have just proved the symmetry property of the binomial coefficient. Okay, so the next part of the problem asks you is a little bit more involved, and it asks you to prove the additivity property of the binomial coefficient, which is something that might not be immediately obvious. Just based on inspection. Okay. So we're going to start again, just as we did in the first part of this problem, using the definition of the binomial coefficient in order to try to combine the n over r plus n over r plus 1. Okay, so as before, I'll, I'll just copy down exactly what we had over here. So we have n and then r plus n over r plus 1. Okay, so using the definition of the binomial coefficient that we used before, I'm going to rewrite both of these. So n over r is equal to n factorial over r factorial times quantity n minus r factorial. And we're going to add this to, again, using the definition of the binomial coefficient here, n factorial over quantity r plus 1 factorial, and then n minus quantity r plus 1 factorial. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get a common denominator so that we can combine these two fractions into one fraction. Okay, so it's not, it might not be immediately obvious uh, to the viewer of this video how to combine these two into, or to, how to find a common denominator or what the common denominator would even be in this case. So in order to help facilitate visualizing what the common denominator would be, I'm just going to kind of rewrite the factorial expression in a way that might make a little bit more obvious how we're going to approach this. Okay, so we know that the first fraction is going to be equal to n factorial over r factorial. R factorial. We're just going to leave both of those exactly as is. And then we have here n minus r, and then using the definition of the factorial, we're going to say that this is going to be n minus r times n minus r minus 1, all factorial or this last term, the factorial of this. This is the same thing as n minus r factorial. And we're going to do the same thing to the second expression here, the second fraction that we have. The numerator is going to stay the same, so we just have n factorial, 
and then the denominator, we're going to have, so using the definition of a factorial, we know that r plus 1 factorial is going to be equal to r plus 1 times r factorial. And then I'm just going to expand this out here, or if I expand this out, I mean distribute the negative sign. Then we're going to have here n minus r minus 1 factorial. Okay, so hopefully now it's a little bit more clear what the common denominator is going to be. So we have here uh, r factorial, so a common r factorial, and then we have an extra n minus r over here and an extra r plus 1 over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to combine these fractions by multiplying the numerators such that we get a common denominator. So when all is said and done, I'm going to get this following expression. We have here in the top n factorial times r plus 1 plus n factorial times n minus r all over our common denominator, which is going to be r factorial times, whoops, let me write this so it's a little clear here, uh, r plus 1 times r factorial times n minus r times n minus r minus 1 factorial. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete a, a factor by grouping with the factorials in the numerator. Okay. So as you can see in the numerator, here we have n factorial times r plus 1 plus n factorial times n minus r. So we can do factor by grouping such that we get this entire expression in the numerator is going to be equal to, uh, here we have n factorial, so yeah, um, n factorial times n minus r plus r plus 1. And then in the denominator, we're just going to have the same thing. And by that, we just take this common, just by the rules of factor by grouping, we just take this common term here to the outside, and then we take everything inside here. So we did r, uh, whoops, I forgot a term here, r minus r plus r, oops, this is getting a little sloppy, plus r plus 1. Okay. And then the denominator is just going to stay the same here. r plus 1 times r factorial times n minus r times n minus r minus 1 factorial. OK, so I'm going to erase this down here. So I completed the factor by grouping by taking this common term n factorial and then adding these, multiplying it by the addition of these inside terms here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify. I'm going to simplify the numerator of this expression and the denominator of this expression by just combining these terms here. So we have here in the numerator minus r and a plus r, which just go to 0. So we get here in the top n plus 1, switching the order of these terms for a little clarity here, times n factorial. And in the denominator, we have here, well, I can just copy this down for now, r plus 1 times r factorial times n minus r times n minus r minus 1 factorial. Okay, so as we can see, n times 1, n plus 1 times n factorial by the definition of a factorial is just going to be equal to quantity n plus 1 factorial. And then in the denominator, the same thing, r plus 1 times r factorial is going to be equal to r plus 1 factorial times, and then n minus r times n minus r minus 1 factorial is going to be equal to n minus r factorial. Okay, and as we can see here, this is going to be identically equal to n plus 1 over r plus 1, in, if I express it as a binomial coefficient. So now we have, by getting a common denominator and combining and using the properties of factorials uh, and factor by grouping, I've just proven that the additivity property for binomial coefficients. So for more Problem of the Week playlet, for more Problem of the Week videos, you can click on our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, you can click here. Thank you for watching.